Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial video. We're still on our series on equations. We've looked at introduction to equations. We've seen how to solve simple linear equations. We have also looked at how to solve equation with brackets. In this video, we are looking at how to solve equation containing fractions. To see all our videos on equation, you just need to go to our playlist and click on our playlist titled equation. And you'll see all the videos we've done on equations. You can also check other playlists on other topics for very simple ways of solving any equation of your choice. So let's continue with the video. So when solving equations involving fractions, one of these two situations may occur. The first one is fraction on one side of the equation. So you might have equation containing fraction, but the fraction is only on one side of the equation. And the second situation is you can find fractions on both sides of the equation. So the way you go about solving these two situations are a little bit different. Let's look at these two examples. In this example, we have fraction on the left alone. But in this second example, you have fraction on both sides of the equation. So when you have fraction on one side of the equation, multiply both sides by the denominator of the fraction. We've learned about why we do the same thing to both sides of the equation in a previous video. The reason we are multiplying both sides by the denominator is to eliminate this denominator. Also, when you have fraction on both sides, multiply both sides by the LCM of the denominators. So in this case where we have fraction on both sides, we simply multiply both sides of the equation, not by one of the denominators, but by the LCM of both denominators. So let's use these steps to solve these two questions. Let's go. So A, we have 2x plus 3 all over 5 is equal to 3. So we are told that when you have fraction on one side of the equation, you multiply both sides by the denominator of the fraction. So this will give us 2x plus 3 all over 5 times 5 is equal to 3 times 5. So we have multiplied both sides by the denominator of the fraction. So cancel out. 5 will cancel out 5. So on the left, we are going to have 2x plus 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 is going to give us 15. Next, we introduce the opposite of plus 3, which is minus 3, to both sides of the equation. We'll have 2x plus 3 minus 3 equals 15 minus 3. 15 minus 3 is going to give us 12, but plus 3 minus 3 is going to cancel out. So we'll have 2x is equal to 12. So at this point, in order to eliminate 2, we introduce the opposite of multiply by 2 to both sides of the equation. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. So 2x divided by 2 is equal to 12 divided by 2. On the left, 2 is going to cancel out 2. We have x is equal to 12 divided by 2 is going to give us 6. And that becomes our answer. Remember, solving an equation simply means finding the value of the variable that makes left side and right side equal. So when you put this value of 6 back into this equation, you have 2 multiplied by 6, which is 12 plus 3, 15. 15 divided by 5 gives us 3. That means our answer is correct. Let's solve the second question, B. We have x plus 5 all over 3 is equal to x plus 1 all over 2. So in this second situation, we can see that we have fractions on both sides of the equation. And we have been told that whenever you have fractions on both sides of the equation, all you need to do is multiply both sides by the LCM of the two denominators. The LCM of 3 and 2 is 6. So we simply multiply both sides by 6. So x plus 5 all over 3 multiplied by 6 is equal to x plus 1 all over 2 multiplied by 6. So on the left, 3 will cancel out with 6. We have 2 here. On the right, 2 will cancel out with 6. We have 3 here. So this means 2 is going to multiply x plus 5. 2 multiplied by x will give us 2x. 2 multiplied by plus 5 will give us plus 10. Is equal to 3 multiplied by x will give us 3x. 3 multiplied by plus 1 will give us plus 3. Going further, we can simply move like terms together. So we can move 2x to the right, while we move 3 to the left. So we're going to have 
10 minus 3 is equal to 3x minus 2x. 10 minus 3 is going to give us 7. 3x minus 2x is going to give us x. So we have x is equal to 7. That becomes our answer. Let's confirm it. 7 replacing x here is going to give us 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Over here, 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. 8 divided by 2 is also 4. So that shows that our answer is correct. If you understood the video, I'd like you to solve this classwork and leave your answer in the comment section. Classwork. Solve for x in x plus 3 all over 2 is equal to x plus 1 all over 4. So I'd like to see your answer to this simple question in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more mass content. See you in the next video. Bye.